look at Jesus youth as a movement we are looking at a great need as the Holy Spirit created us or would grew us in so many years we will see that we have come a long way we have come so many years more than two decades and this great need was surely Jesus and this this name Jesus is echoed even in our name that is Jesus youth and this great need, Jesus youth was, this movement was an answer to, to this great need in the world. But as we have come a long way, it's very important that we sit down, see where we came from, where we are now, and we are, where we are heading for. So this assembly is also going to be this time to look at where we came from, where we are now, and where we are going. Again, we stand at a very, you know, crucial juncture we would say because we are now we have the energy of committed youth I would say we have so many committed youth we have the energy of committed youth we have the recognition from the church at various levels uh, his excellency was mentioning we are being now recognized by the church at so many levels we have so many dynamic programs, I would say miraculous, I use this word miraculous providence because when we see our Jesus youth programs, they are just moving young people all over the world. We just came from an Arabian youth conference, the first of its kind that happened just a few days back. Everywhere that we are doing these dynamic programs and various dynamics are really touching the hearts of young people. We also have the support of so many well-wishers and many more countless blessings that we have as our force and energy. But at the other side, we also have this set of challenges. We have, I would say, not just challenges, the mo modern world, which is a big challenge with a lot of things like consumerism, you know, errors in human thinking like relativism. And also we have this growing expectations from the church that is also giving us this challenge to grow harder. So when we sit down, the word of God says in Luke 14, 28, that when you build something, don't you just sit down and count the cost. And I'm sure this assembly is also going to be a time for that. To sit down and count the cost. To look at what Jesus youth is being called to do at this point of our life in this moment. Again, I just want to say that, uh, just mention very fast, a lot of things the assembly has to offer. 27 paper presentations. We have 23 country presentations. We have five group sessions and six deepening spiritual reflections and many more scriptural scriptural reflections and many more things to offer lot of creative dynamics and this assembly is going to really shake us shake us shake all of us and make the change i would say i just go back to this again this assembly is going to be a time of change and to preserve there are a lot of areas that we need to change the movement has to look at areas we need to change. Also, the, we have to preserve the great asset that the Holy Spirit has created in us. So these two strong elements are there. I just wanted to say this is a genesis of vision. Let this produce. The, as the thoughts flow from the speakers, let it produce a genesis of vision. An exodus from our ignorance. Many areas that we have maybe had a lot of things to change. Also, revelation of a lot of new things that we would have never thought about. We would have never thought of, maybe some of us may be finishing so many years in this movement. But this assembly surely would create a lot of new things that we would have never seen. Again, I was saying that seeing the sun, as far as we are concerned, glowing in the spirit, blessed by, the, blessed by our loving God the Father, we, were, we need to be ready to preserve and also to change. Just, I would like to end this address with... Maybe just one short thing we can do. Can you just take your right finger? Can I see your right finger? You know, as maybe senior leaders, we always need a refreshing. Can you just take it close to your mind here? Can you just click it? Thank you very much. I think if this assembly has to be successful, we all need to refresh. You've seen the computer refresh, isn't it? We all need to refresh ourselves. And we will be remembered. I'm not sure if we all will be remembered. This program, God, what God spoke to this movement at this program is surely going to be remembered. And we are privileged to be here. 
all of us each one of us we are privileged to be here if you see all the dynamics here i just want to say one more thing there is no stage no audience all the speakers who are going to come and talk from here are just going to initiate the thought process it cannot be complete without your contribution we are going to have this contribution in the form of you writing down your thoughts and giving after each paper after each module we also are going to have during the group sessions facilitators and secretaries again the facilitators and the secretaries are only going to help to coordinate this group sessions each member participating in the group session has to contribute and and when all of us contribute like you know it was said before it's not a coincidence that we are here and if the holy spirit has brought us here we all are here to contribute so we all have to contribute there is no stage and audience separation we all need to contribute and make this program a success so i want to end with this prayer may the future generations of jesus youth remember each one of us sitting here as god's channel or channels that let god speak to jesus youth such a big movement god used us as channels to help or you know god used us as channels so that god speaks through us to this moment at this point of time thank you very much